Welcome to Baxter Bell Yoga. This week, the mini vinyasa that I'd like to share with you is one that involves a pose called gate latch pose. Uh, Parigasana is the Sanskrit for that particular posture. And usually this is done as a static posture. You come into the side bend and you hang out in for a while. But today we're going to do it as a dynamic uh, mini vinyasa where we're going to move in and out with the breath. So I'm here at the Oakland Yoga Studio once again, thanks to Jin Sung for uh, allowing me to uh, film here. And you'll need a sticky mat and a blanket. So gather those things and we'll be ready to go. So to begin, we're going to come up to kneeling and we're going to take the right leg out to the right side of our mat. Instead of having it directly to the side, we're going to bring it forward a little bit. We're going to check to make sure that the left hip is directly over the left knee. So you don't want to be out here or way over here with the hip, but you want to be pretty vertical. And then the foot's a little forward, you make that leg very strong. And then the sequence goes like this. On an inhale, you bring the arms up and out to the sides. As you exhale, we're going to side bend and either look down at the straight leg or look straight forward. Inhale, come back up, and exhale the hands together in front of your hips. Inhale, the arms float up. Exhale, side bending to your right. Inhale, come back up, and exhale the arms down. Inhaling, the arms float up. Exhaling, coming to the side. I like to look straight forward to keep the neck healthy over time, or look down at my bottom foot. Both of those are really nice positions. A fourth time, inhaling and exhaling, inhaling. And exhaling, do two more rounds at a pace that feels good for you. I'm going to move at my own pace right now. And then finally bring that leg in and give yourself a moment just to be in the center place. So a nice active uh, side bending pose that both opens and strengthens the side body, strengthens the straight leg, strength, uh, lengthens the inner thigh on that straight leg. It's kind of a fun little one. So let's try the second side. I'm going to take the left leg out to the side and then forward a couple of inches. I'm going to look down and make sure that my right hip is pretty much over my right knee, which looks pretty good there today. And then I'm ready to start. So we'll do this for six rounds. I'll do the first couple rounds with you, and then I'll ask you to try it on your own, following your own breath rhythm. So make the straight leg strong. Inhale the arms up and out to your sides. Exhale, tipping over to your left. Inhale, coming up. Exhaling the arms down. Inhaling. Exhaling, inhaling, and exhaling. These first couple, I'm looking down at my bottom leg, but you know you can also look straight forward. Now last three on your own, following your own breath rhythm. Parigasana, gate latch pose, done dynamically. So the last one. Coming back up, as the arms come down, bring that leg back in. You can either kneel, or if your knees permit, you can sit back on your heels. So our dynamic mini vinyasa for the day has been dynamic gate latch pose to each size six, six times. Um, play with that this week in your home practice, see what you think. Uh, and you can follow me um, when you're not watching YouTube on my uh, website, baxterbell.com, on my blog, Yoga for Healthy Aging. And I have longer practices on the practice channel at Yoga U Online, capital U. Thanks so much. Until the next time, namaste.